Phases of the Moon, Science 5, Quarter 4, Week 5 to 6. Our lesson for week 5 to 6 is about the phases of the moon and the beliefs and practices associated with it. Let us have first our enabling competency, which is relate the cylindrical pattern of the length of the month and the most essential learning competency, infer the pattern in the changes in the appearance of the moon. You have learned in the previous lesson that weather disturbances refer to any disruption of the atmosphere's stable condition which can manifest through the formation of low pressure area or different prevailing winds like monsoon and the intertropical convergence zone. You have also learned the classification of cyclones according to the strength of wind, changes of weather before, during, and after a typhoon, as well as how to determine the strength of typhoon through public storm warning signal. Do you know that there is another factor that affects the weather? The moon affects the weather in a way that when it is high in the sky, it creates bulges in the planet's atmosphere that makes changes in the amount of rainfall. Now you will learn more about the moon, its faces that represents the pattern in the changes in its appearance. The moon is the only natural satellite of the Earth. A, a satellite is an object that revolves around larger object. The moon does not produce its own light. It only reflects the light coming from the sun. Since the moon is revolving around the Earth, the amount of light it reflects from the sun varies as it changes its position and the moon's appearance changes from time to time and it is because the lighted portion of the moon changes as it moves around the Earth. This obvious change in the appearance of the moon known as the phases of the moon. Phases of the Moon The Moon has eight phases, four, four primary phases and four intermediate phases. The Moon goes these eight phases in 29 and one-half days. The period it takes for the Moon to complete the phases is called month. As the Moon moves around the Earth, it reflects the light from the Sun. Now let us discuss them one by one. New Moon. This occurs when the moon is between the sun and the earth. In this position, it is the dark side of the moon that is facing the earth. During this phase, the moon is not visible from the earth. Waxing Crescent. After a new moon, when the moon seems to be growing, it is undergoing a waxing phase. As the moon starts to appear in a semicircular form, waxing crescent starts to appear. First quarter. This phase of the moon happens when half of the moon's face is lighted up. Whether it is left or right depends on where you are located on Earth. The first quarter moon rises around the midday and is visible in a day sky. Waxing gibbous. When the moon is between quarter moon and the full moon, the moon is called gibbous. During this phase, the most portion of the moon is visible in the sky. Waxing means that the moon is getting bigger. Full moon. A week after the first quarter moon, you can see the whole lighted side of the moon. It, this phase is called full moon. A full moon appears as the entire circle in the night sky. 
waning gibus. After the full moon, the waning phase of the moon starts. It is when the moon appears to be getting smaller each night. Last quarter. After the full moon, the waning phase of the moon starts. It is when the moon appears to be getting smaller each night. Waning crescent. Crescent means less than half of the moon is lighted. Waning crescent is a phase where the moon is nearing to the completion of the cycle. Next is the beliefs and practices associated with the moon. Phases of the moon are often associated with superstitious belief. During the ancient times, people believed that the moon has a big influence in their lives. They use the moon as guide. The moon tells when to plant and when to harvest. The moon also gives them sign about the weather. These beliefs and practices were passed from generation to generation. In modern times, some of the, these beliefs and practices are still part of the lives of some people. However, because of man's continuous search for evidence what used to be a mere belief yesterday can have a scientific explanation today. Moon and planting. Many farmers believe that planting, when the moon in specific phase, may bring good harvest. It is because the growth rate of plants can be affected by them. The different phases of the moon influence the groundwater beneath the earth and affect the movement of fluids within plants. Moon and weather. When the moon or when the sun, moon, and earth line up and the moon is its perigee or closest to the earth, you can expect lower temperature. This is due to the combined gravitational pull of the moon and the sun. During full moon, it causes a bulge in the sea. For our first learning task, learning task number one, the title is Moon Model. Prepare the materials and if not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents, guardians, or any adult member of the family if needed. Materials, large ball or any large spherical objects, flashlight, and small ball. Procedures. Number one, place the large ball at the center of the table. Number two, turn off the lights in the room. Make sure that the room is dark enough so as to enhance the lighting coming from the flashlight. Three, turn on the flashlight. Be sure to focus its light on the large ball. Four, hold the small ball in between the large ball and the flashlight. Five, Turn the small ball slowly around the large ball and do not move the flashlight. Observe what portion of the small ball reflects light. After performing the task, you need to answer the following questions. Number one, based on your observation, does the small ball change its shape? Number two, as you observe what portion of the ball reflects the light and explain. And the third is, based on your observation, describe the pattern in the changes in the appearance of the small ball. Now, let us watch first the video before answering those questions. Answers. For number one, no, the moon does not change shape. Number two, a part of ball facing light was bright and other side was dark. And number three, the small ball gets bigger and then it seems to get smaller and disappear as it revolves in the big ball. 
For learning task number 2, the title is Debugging Superstitions About the Moon. Materials, band paper, ball pen, and, uh, and ball pen. Procedures. Number 1. Interview some members of your community about superstitious belief superstitious beliefs and practices associated with the moon which they believe in. Ask them if they know things which are related to the phases of the moon. Example is behavior of animals, effects on earth, effects on plants, and etc. Fill in the superstitious column, superstitions column with the responses of your interviewees about their beliefs and practices. Using science references or science reference Reference materials, look for evidences that debug or contradict the superstitious belief of your interviewees. Then write them in the scientific explanation in the next slide. Then answer some questions about that based on the gathered data among some members of your community. What are some beliefs and practices associated with the moon they believe in? Number two, based on the responses of your interviewees, how do beliefs about the moon affect their lives? And number three, as a learner, how would you convince them that their beliefs and practices associated with the moon have no scientific basis? And these are some possible answers. Superstitious, the moon controls fertility. Explanation, perhaps because the Menstrual and lunar cycles are similar in length. Many early civilizations believed that the moon determined when women got, could become pregnant. And another is when the moon is full, it is easier to catch fish and the sea level rises. Explanation. The, moon, uh, the amount of fish caught depends on the skill of a fisherman. The fishes seem to be easier to catch during full moon because the moon is brighter. Then the answers in the questions a while ago are the following. The moon controls fertility and when the moon is full, it is easier to catch fish and the sea le level rises. For number two, it can make a positively or negatively effect on people or to them. And number three, tell them to do not base their belief in superstitions instead on scientific basis only. For learning task number three, on a separate sheet of paper, explain how the phases of the moon relate to the length of the month. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. Level of performance. Four, the main idea is clear and precise and it's, it is supported by five or more supporting details. Three, the main idea is clear and precise and it is supported by four supporting details. Two, the main idea is clear and precise and it is supported by three supporting details. And one, the main idea is clear and precise and it is supported by two supporting details. And these are the possible answers. The moon has eight phases, four primary phases and four intermediate phases. The moon goes these eight phases in 29 and one half days. The period it takes for the moon to complete the phases is called month. For learning test number four, below are the cylindrical pattern of phases of the moon. Label each correctly and add a short description. And these are the answers. To summarize our lesson for today about the phases of the moon, these are the phases of the moon. We have new moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, and waning crescent. For learning task number five, last learning task, on the space provided, write true if the statement is correct and false if not. Number one, a full moon appears as the entire circle in the night sky. Number two, when the moon is between quarter moon and the full moon, the moon is called crescent. For number three, the moon has seven phases. For number four, the period it takes for the moon to complete the phases is called month. And number five, one in crescent is a phase where the moon is nearing to, co to the completion of the cycle. And these are the correct answers. For number one, true. 
number 2 false, 3 false, 4 true, and 5 true. And that ends our lesson for week to 5, our week 5 to 6 of our quarter 4. Thanks for listening and attending our class today and happy learning. Bye-bye. Thank you.